everyone is talking about the outlook right now. It seems like every company is laying off folks. We're expecting potentially thousands of layoffs at Meta alone. What are you seeing in the sales environment in terms of the appetite to buy your software and enterprise software right now? Well, the first thing we're really excited about is the appetite for folks to come to this conference. It's the first time we've had our Octane event in person in three years, and the whole thing is sold out. We're oversubscribed. That's both from our customer event, our investor event. So people are incredibly interested in this topic. And what do you know? They like to be together in, pers in person, which is a powerful platform for us to start telling the story. And as you did, as you mentioned, Emily, everyone, this is a different world than we were in a year ago. Everyone is worried about the economic uncertainty. Everyone is really scrutinizing their investments to make sure that they spend their dollars on the things that are going to move their businesses forward. And the good thing for us, as they make those decisions, identity is coming up as a very strategic initiative they should invest in. What is your outlook, given the macro environment, Todd? And how are you thinking about jobs and spending? Are you planning any layoffs? Are you planning to cut back anywhere? We are not planning layoffs, but like every other company, we're really scrutinizing where we're investing, and we think our team is a great investment. They're the best in the industry, and they're going to help our customers be successful. But across the board, everyone is trying to do more with less, make sure that every dollar we spend is in the highest ROI area. And what you see from our customers is that they're getting a huge return on their investments in identity. It's not just for security, and it's not just for IT productivity, it's also for customers. They can build better customer relationships, they can drive new revenue channels, and that's what you wanna do when there's a time of economic uncertainty. You wanna make sure you cut costs and have good investment in terms of what you're spending your money on, but you also have to drive growth because a lot of times, that's when you can get ahead of your competitors. When they're cutting back, you can invest in the right areas and move forward. Meantime, digital authentication services are still a huge prize for hackers. Of course, we've talked about the, the, the hack that Okta had to deal with earlier this year. Twilio also dealing with one as well. How would you say uh, the threat level has changed and what are you doing to stay on top of it? Well, one thing that doesn't change is that whether the, there's economic uncertainty and how people are thinking about investments, the risk from security breaches and the regulatory overview that comes when there's a security breach and the cost that puts on companies, that is consistent. That's always there. So companies have to invest in their cyber posture, and they have to make sure they have the, a great founda foundation to keep everything secure. And they, of course, have to make sure they're spending the right investments and getting the best innovation for that money. But cybersecurity is something that's it's re it's recession resistant. I'm curious what you think of Elon Musk's approach to verification, this idea of knowing your customer, proving identity, when others are saying this is just a way to pay to play. Well, I think that Twitter is a, is a great technology company. It's changed the world. And even a company like Twitter has to do a better job connecting with their customers, whether that's figuring out who gets the blue check mark, whether that's figuring out what's a bot and what's not a bot. These things in the in the takeover of Twitter and as, as Elon comes in to run the company, these things have come up over and over again. So it just goes to show you if Twitter has these challenges and these opportunities by they could reap the benefits of getting to know their customers better, think about every other company, every other organization in the world. If they can know their customers, if they can build great products and service for them that validate the right users, get them into the right capabilities, that's gonna be a, a, a really a groundswell for every organization in the world. And that's what everyone's trying to do. And that's why it all comes back to identity because you have to know who that customer is. You have to have high confidence in it so you can deliver that customer a great personalized experience that changes their day, makes them perceive a ton of value from your product or service and moves your company forward. He's also telling users to vote Republic, Republican. And I, I know federal government sales are important to Okta. How do things change for you if you know Congress uh, Republicans win Congress? Does that make a difference for Okta? Well, one thing I want to say is I did, I voted today. So you can see my I voted sticker. <laughs> Good for you. Love it. There um, you I, are. We have there a, you this got big it right conference. There. <laughs> we have this big conference, so I had to do it early, absentee. But all I'll say on this is that everyone needs to vote. Democracy works when everyone is heard, so everyone should vote. It's an important part of what we do. It's an important part of our country, and it's an important part of the world. So get out there and vote. <laughs> uh, all right. I can, can only support that. Look, you've got a huge customer event coming up, 
and Investor Day. You've been talking about this passwordless future for a really long time. What are you telling them about how far away that really is? When are we all going to be done with passwords? This is one of the most exciting things that's happening in the industry. We are on the cusp, especially at work, of being able to get rid of passwords. Okta has the technology today to remove the password from every employee in the world. And that's because two things. One is that we can utilize the strong authentication from their iPhone or their Android phone or from their Mac or their PC and integrate that. And this is an important point. It has to be integrated to every application and service you need to go in your entire workday. And that's what's challenging. It's not that we didn't have the right biometric sensors, is that it was hard to get these biometric sensors connected to everything in your environment. And that's the problem we solve. And so this is an exciting development. I think we can make employees much more productive. And more importantly, if it's a biometric sensor, it's much more secure. And that's why we're excited to tell our story to the world this week.